Hey guys, Bernard here, and welcome to an online multiple battle for Medieval 2 Total War. So, um, I was a little bored today, and I didn't actually have time to upload a lot of stuff today, mainly because I had a track meet. Um, I do cross-country running, and I had it, and I didn't get home until about 9 o'clock, and by that point I was kind of tired. It's now 11, almost 11.30 for me recording here, everyone's asleep, so that's why I'm talking a little quieter. Um, so I thought I'd upload a Medieval 2 Total War battle, because I actually reinstalled a lot of my old Medieval 2 games again, and I was actually having a lot of fun with them. So I thought I'd upload maybe one or two different uh, different Total War battles every once in a while, like maybe once every two weeks or so, you know, just to kind of freshen up the total for my Total War fans. Anyway, so I'm going to keep put this on play. There we go. Our so men I am under attack. Portugal. We um, need this to battle's act. already started. I've got five units of dismounted Feudal Knights, four units of Peasant Archers. The graphics are actually pretty sleek in this game for a game its age. I think I actually think they're pretty good. I've got a unit of Spear Militia on my left flank, a unit of Spear Militia on my right, two units of Spear Militia as my reserve to counter any charges. My general's bodyguard right here. I've got two units of feudal knights on my right flank, along with my hintas, which are missile cavalry. And then we've got my hintas over here, which are currently running in the center, and then two units of feudal knights. Right now, I'm screening my hintas in the center, and I'm going to keep tossing some spears into my enemy's units. I'm going to—I was trying to target the Sherwood archers, but I ended up actually targeting the dismounted feudal knights. Actually, no, I am targeting the Sherwood archers. Um, and my ally, my enemy, which is Rafal uh, Rafali, which is actually a friend of mine. He has brought five dismounted feudal knights, he's the English obviously, he's got two armored sergeants on his flank, two armored sergeants over here, two feudal knights, two feudal knights over here, two units of hoblars, and four units of Sherwood archers in his general's bodyguard. So his um, units are very similar to mine, he's got a very similar army composition. You can see I'm going to screen my hintas across here to absorb some arrow fire from my peasant archers because I know that his Sherwood archers will tear me to shreds. You can see they already are right here. So here we go, my hintas are going to pull back, because it looks like his troops are going to charge forward soon, I, and men should get a few volleys in there, and you can see his Sherwood archers are just kind of picking my guys off, they have a very nice reload skill, they all look like kind of Robin Hood, which is nice. And now I'm actually going to have to take the initiative here, so he's, I'm actually going to pull my men upward, I believe, and now over here I completely missed it, I apologize for that guys, he uh, missed out micro me, and I didn't realize that my cab was being attacked, so over here my cab right here Our is going to engage his attack. feudal knights. We need While to my act. left, my uh, right flank feudal knights are going to come around and go for a hammer and anvil soon. And now here goes a unit of spear militia and to my two hintas into the fight. I put them in melee mode. So these feudal knights are definitely outmatched. These two units of feudal knights, they would have stood a chance if my opponent had moved his spear militia up or engaged my infantry before. So I would be tied up. But over here, I'm just going to surround them and just hammer and anvil them right here. So that's not going to go off my opponent. Over here. We have another battle going on, which is actually a little more in my opponent's favor. He is still losing technically because he's got his two feudal knights Our right men here. Are under attack. And he's still we fighting spear now. militia of mine. And I do have some spear militia that are going to come into the fight right here. And now over here, here is the big melee fight that's going to come in. So you can see my dismounted feudal knights are going to charge in. Let's take a look at this. Alright, so down the line my men are going to start fighting. These dismounted feudal knights and dismounted feudal knights. Um, I am very confident that my men will win because I believe I have an extra experience chevron on them because I my spears aren't as expensive as his. And now over here, this is where my extra reserves of spear militia is going to come into play. So they're going to replace my flank reserves over here and they're going to go on the sides and start picking these dismounted feudal knights off. And now over here, I managed to destroy these men, his cavalry units, and I'm going to pull my cav out because he's brushed two units of armor sergeants over. A little late, but it's still well intended. And he's actually probably going to defeat my spear militia on that flank. And I'll show you guys this battle and get a little... The battles in this game are a bit slower, guys, which is one thing that's a big, uh... Which isn't as big of a, uh... What is it? It's a big offset for me. But it's still pretty fun. I mean, I love watching these two, these armored men, just kind of hack each other. And now, over here, he's still gonna have his hobblars in the back, and now they're gonna start running forward, while his Sherwood archers continue to put a massive pounding on my guys. You can see a ton of my men have been dropped by arrows. And over here, I've managed to destroy these units, and now these armored sergeants are going to engage my feudal knights which are stuck in these spear militia. And now I'm going to pull my my knights around, and now here come these hobblars slowly. It looks like he, my opponent missed Michael them a bit, but now they are currently running, sort of. Yes, here they come. So they're going to go through, and he is going to target my peasant archers. Now here's another mis here's a small mistake our men are from our opponent. Um, we the reason I brought peasant act. archers is because mainly to hold his sherwood archers in place and to soak up missile fire. I really don't care about them, but he's still destroys my archer component which is very effective. You can see it's going to cause pretty much a mass rout. I am going to pull these three units back for a minute and then I'm going to charge them in. And now here is the decisive point of the battle. My feudal knights are going to come in and they're going to hammer and anvil these, this mount, this, uh, this mount of feudal knight. And now I'm going to pull these feudal knights back while these two units of hintas go in and attack the 
General's Bodyguard, which is obviously not going to do well for me because these Hintas are Light Cavalry and they're actually Missile Cavalry. And they are not going to do well. But now over here, just because of that hammer and anvil with my men, have caused a mass run on all flanks. Only these center units of this are remaining. Attack. And we now what I did is act. I took my archers action and I put them in the melee mode to pull these hobbleogs back while the remain of my troops come in. So here Lord comes a unit of feudal us. knights which are going to come in Only hammer and anvil these hobbleogs. The and they are going to completely rout them, uh, leaving my peasant archers pretty intact. Now these hobbleogs are still intact, which I am actually going to miss micro and these guys are going to chase after them. But over here, my spear militia are losing, and then I've got my large infantry mass, which is now free to move. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move them over to counter these armored sergeants coming over here. Now I should have moved some of my spears in, which I think I actually do. Yes, I do. Okay, so here goes my big infantry blob along with my spear militia, and we are going to charge straight to the Sherwood archers. Let's take a look at this action. As you can hear the massive charges. And then over here, uh, my general's bodyguard is fighting these Sherwood archers. And he is actually losing, apparently. Which is very surprising. Oh no, that is his general's bodyguard, my fault there. So that's where my Hintes are still fighting. And then over here, he's used his armored sergeants to route my right flank of uh, Spear Militia. So now those armored sergeants are free to move. So he still has a decent component. I do think I have this game in the bag, but he still does have his armored sergeants, which could prove fatal to my men. Obviously, I'm not going to use the cab as much anymore because those spears will destroy my cavalry units. But over here, my uh, dismounted feudal knights are going to put pounding on these guys. Let's take a look at some of this fighting. It's actually pretty brutal, this uh, medieval fighting, obviously. Just kind of hacking and slashing at them. Alright, so we are going to cause a mass route with the charge of those dismounted feudal knights. And now over here, um, these feudal knights have managed to route his battle. battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, Victory will be ours. Ah, yes. Interesting. Okay. Um, and now my dismounted Feudal Knights over here are going to charge in along with these Feudal Knights that I have left, the nine troops. And then my Spear Militia should be moving in. Here they go. And we are going to charge in and attack the Sherwood Archers, and then we are going to focus fire. Actually, no. We're going to go around, and we are, my Spear Militia is going to go straight into these units of Armored Sergeants. Let's take a little charge. Obviously, these armored sergeants are going to lose this battle. I mean, are going to win this battle because they are hard, uh, much hardier than my spear militia. They do out. I do have upgrades my spear militia, but I'm pretty sure he's got upgrades on his armored sergeants as well. So that will prove to be disastrous for me. But because of the his general's bodyguard, which actually does rout, I believe soon, it will rout pretty soon. You guys can see that it is uh, fighting. It is the balance of forces is okay. Keep changing. Never mind. But over there we're fighting, and then on this flank I'm still engaging these armored sergeants. That's not very interesting. We're just kind of enveloping them. Over here is the main action, guys. So you can see the spear militia. All right, there goes the enemy general, which is going to cause a very bad morale block. That was a pretty cool sword slash right there, guys. I don't know if you saw that. That's going to cause the morale blows. All these guys are now they're still eager, uh, while my men are actually only steady. So my men are actually less have a less morale than these armored sergeants. So you can see we are actually losing this fight along with my general's bodyguard, who actually is only my general now. And I believe he's actually going to get killed. Our foolish general has yeah, there he goes. His life away. So if he is going to, he focus fired my general to back the attack. Sherwood Archers. We I didn't realize that. Now. You guys can see the tremendous power of these Sherwood Archers back here, just pounding arrows into my guys. You can see they are going to keep picking off my guys. You can see a couple men, are, a lot of my men are actually getting dropped by arrows while fighting. And now my armored sergeants and my dismounted beetle knights and my spear militia are getting wrecked right now. But the reason that I am going to be able to turn the tide in this battle, you can see it's actually a pretty decently close battle, um, is because of these dismounted beetle knights. Now you can see the two units of dismounted beetle knights that are coming back here. I'm going to pull one and put them right here, I believe, to reinforce. So we're going to get a direct charge along with my beetle knights right here, which are going to get stopped. I think they're going to get shot by arrows, actually. This basically, these Sherwood Archers is pretty huge barrage, my men. And right there, there we go. So this, this mount of feudal knights are going to charge in, and they're going to cause a mass route as soon as they hit those units. Because those spears do not want to fight my feudal knights. And I can go my feudal knights in on the Sherwood Archers, and we're just going to completely crush these guys. Just we're going to go medieval on Battle their Our men are under attack. We must act now. So it seems Thank that if God there was a, ever a fight with the Portuguese against the English, the Portuguese would win, obviously. I don't know about that, I'm just kidding. Um, the well English do have their heavy, very heavy infantry and very good archers. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed that battle. Um, I deployed 1,649 men. I lost 1,084. 
my opponent deployed 1469 and lost 1301. Good game to my opponent, and thanks for watching, guys, and I'll bring one Oblivion part up, hopefully, by tonight. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys again later.